Hello everyone, this is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to spend a few moments connecting a Prism Element interface into an already existing Prism Central. The first thing that we do is we log into our Prism Element interface. If you go to the Prism Central widget, you'll notice that this cluster has not been registered to a Prism Central. Here you have the choice to register or create a new. In this instance, we're going to connect to an already existing Prism Central. So we're going to click connect. It's very important to remember that there are a few services within Prism Element that become read only when you connect to Prism Central, mainly self-service portal and cluster registration. Go ahead and click next. We're going to go ahead and enter in our Prism Central IP address, our username and our password. Go ahead and click connect. Take about 30 seconds for the Prism Central registration to complete. Sometimes faster, sometimes a little bit slower. As you can see, this one says that we're complete. And you'll notice that the widget from within Prism Element now says OK. You have two ways to access your Prism Central. You can either click directly on this button here, and it will open up a new tab and take you directly to Prism Central. Or you can connect to your Prism Central instance and then navigate to this cluster. We're going to navigate to our drop down menu, come over to hardware, and then clusters. We'll refresh our page, and there we'll see. Here's our cluster connected. And to test to make sure that everything's working OK, you can actually click on that cluster right there. And it will bring up the cluster health status, CPU metrics, alerts, anomalies, as well as VM efficiencies, should it find any issues. Um, you can actually unregister the cluster from here, do things like manage categories, upgrade software once everything's fully in sync. This has been how to connect an existing Prism element to an existing Prism Central. Thanks. Have a great day.